I don't know, uh, Monday, February, I don't know, 20, <laughs> I don't know what day it is, not telling me on screen, I have no clue, but anyway, shout out to BK Builders, Brian and uh, Michael in Vermont, I just came from the post office, your traps have been shipped, and today I think what I'm going to do is, um, I've worked in this area before, but I haven't worked over in here. So I'm gonna focus on this area. We got some uh, bad gold up in here, behind that big piece of bedrock in that area, and around the other side of that bedrock, there's a whirlpool. I found good gold up in there, and we've done really good down in this area here. So I'm gonna block off that water flow a little bit in between these rocks here and block this off and see if I can get a setup off from the top of this rock. Should get some really good flow right here. And I'm gonna dig this area out and see what comes of it. So I'll get, I got the, the three foot riverbed hog with me again today. And uh, pry bar and we'll see what we can come up with. I don't have my GoPro, so I won't be shooting any video of clean outs or anything like that can't do that today but we'll see what we can come up with here at least you'll see some gold maybe all right so I got set up diverted some water over into this area blocked that off blocked this off and I was able to set up off this rock now this is an ideal setup you'll see that nose is completely above water and I've got some really good pressure going into the trap and that's really what you want these things like a lot of pressure and look at the material inside the trap that's what you want to see So you know when they're set up right. Got a good pitch to it, not too steep. If it's too steep, then right in the middle section of the trap all the way across, it blows it out, just like in a U shape because it's like a plunge pool. So I'm going to go ahead and work that area and when I do a clean out I'll show you what we get. All right, so I've been digging for a while now. Got this really dug out right in here. Pretty deep. And one thing I wanted to point out to you is when I'm shoveling onto the skid plate you want to shovel right about where the end of the sticker is. That's one of the reasons why I put it there. Because if you shovel too close to the end, rocks get caught up on there and they end up going in the scoop plate. And that's with any design like this. So just be sure, for those of you who purchased the Green Mountain Gold Trap, just shovel it on right about where the, where the end of the sticker is. Got quite a bit of tailings over here. I'll, be do, I'll do a clean out pretty soon here. I might dig a little bit more. I'm not too sure I'm done for the day because I'm really enjoying myself. Nice, about 46, 50 degrees, somewhere around there. Loving it. All right, so I'll get back to you guys later. All right, so I've done a clean out. I've, uh, there was a lot of broken up bedrock inside this hole. I'd say I've got it up to about thigh deep in the center here. I dug all the way over in there and all the way over in there. I've removed a lot of broken bedrock and big boulders out of there. And uh, I mean, it's a good spot. 
good spot right on the, uh, well, it's kind of at the beginning of an inside bend, but what it's doing in high water flow, I mean, there's water ripping through here and up there, and it's hitting the main current, and it's creating a whirlpool over here. So it stands to reason gold's gonna get trapped out over in these areas, behind these boulders, behind this tree. But anyway, I just wanted you to see, I got it you know, running again after doing a clean out, just so I can point out the fact that I'm running this extremely hot. I'm running it really hot. In other words, I've got a lot of, a lot of pressure going through this thing, a lot of pressure. Now, I've done a lot of testing with this, um, in the testing stages, putting my Garrett Super Sluice Pan in front of this thing, and I'd be lucky to find, when I've got it running this hot, I'd be lucky to find one or two pieces in that pan. And today, I deliberately dropped the pan, having it running this hot, just to check it again, and there was nothing in the pan at all. And there was like 10, 15 pieces in the trap. So it definitely catches the gold. So I'm gonna set the camera up over here. I wish I brought my GoPro, but I didn't. So I'll just set the camera there. Got all my material in the pan. I already panned it back some, but there's some really small stuff in here. Got one nice piece. some really really fine stuff in there there's one one decent piece right here but I mean there's <laughs> there's minus 200 in here easy easy probably about 70 some odd pieces or more but that's a good example I mean when you got that thing running really hot it's still capturing that gold and it's not losing any so it's almost better to run it hot than it is to run it not so hot, you know what I mean? I mean, it loves the pressure. It absolutely loves that water pressure. Especially if you can get it set up like I have it now on a rock where really no water is getting underneath it, so all that water is getting into that scoop and charging those tubes nice. And if you can't, what I usually do is stick rocks up underneath to get it to block off the underneath. Quite often I have to do that. You don't always run into a situation like this, but this is a really good setup today. I'm really happy with it, and uh, I didn't do too bad. Didn't do too bad. It's about a couple hours worth of running. And, you know, like I said, this is this is like at the very beginning, right, right about there, is the extreme end of the outside bend, and then it starts on an inside right here. So it's not an ideal, ideal spot, but there is gold here because, like I said, there's um, when water is really high, like during Irene. This little channel right here gets charged and then it hits the main flow of the current. And on the other side of that big hill right there, there's another area where water comes down through there. So you've got massive whirlpool kicking gold over in here. But anyway, that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
And for those of you who have purchased, thank you. And don't forget to check out GreenMountainGoldTrap.com. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'll answer all your comments. Take care.